So I get back in November. I'm excused from November drill. Um, in December, they do on-ramp, actually, which is kind of like RSP's last hurrah. Um, they actually sent us to the RTI in Oklahoma City. Um, I want to say it was in the education building all day. Um, but they just, you know, they're like, hey, you're going to be going off to your unit now. Here is your unit. Here is your UIC. Um, here's your point of contact with that unit. Um, these are some of the things the Army has to offer, like, hey, did you know tuition waiver? Hey, uh, GI Bill. Um, stuff like that. Uh, student loan forgiveness. Um, they have that program where, like, if you're if you're a soldier and you come on, like, really serious financial times, they like they have a pool of money that people donate to and they'll give you some out of it if you mm -hmm. apply and you know stuff like that and um then uh I reported to my unit uh in January <clears throat> so and it was a uh, 720th survey and design company okay um but and then I also went out to OU around that time mm -hmm. um but yeah that's kind of what it looked like just coming back um, finally, I was a real soldier. Finally, I was not an RSP anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> two years of RSP, like on the dot, two years, December to December, um, or January to December. But, mm -hmm. um, so I, uh, I got assigned to the 720 Survey and Design Company, uh, in, in Coweta, but they call it the Broken Arrow Armed Forces Reserve Center. Okay. So... Um, a little bit confusing, but, uh, it was in that building and it was a company of 10 people at that time. 10 people, 10 people, company of 10. Jeez Louise. That's wild. So yep. what is it like being in your unit? Did you enjoy it? Is it obviously <laughs> considerably better than being in the art RSP and all that other stuff? So give us a little, uh, taste of what your life in the 10 man company was like. So, um, and also for some of those curious on some documents, it was referred to as like a, a detachment instead of a company, but we always, we always called it a company. It was a company on some documents. It was kind of a weird, anyways, um, it was awesome at 720th. I've been with three units, uh, varying opinions, but 720th was awesome because it was 10 people and, um, the leadership we're very much like, like, hey, if we get our work done and we do it right, we go home. Mm -hmm. Like, one plus one equals two, do your job. And um, <laughs> so, and cool. since it's an eight, it's a 10-man company, like, there's not a whole lot going on. So we would show up and we would just bust our butts. And Saturday, we'd usually, you know, we'd show up at about 8 in the morning. We'd leave at... um like three or four mm -hmm. and uh sunday we would show up at eight in the morning and we'd leave at like one or two which nice. is like that's stupid early for the oklahoma army national guard um and it was great and we like we were actually working we were getting stuff done um you know we we're getting all the the normal like like every drill you're gonna have to do pmcs um you might have to do inventory, like all the just kind of custodial type of stuff. We were mm -hmm. getting all that done. And then we were getting like our tasks that were assigned from hire. We're getting all those done and we're just going home. Um, I was there for seven months before we got absorbed by 120th HHC, which was the, head, the battalion headquarters company. Um, not as fun. But uh, our last drill as 720th, was awesome because we did a muta two and we didn't even like we didn't even show up at the armory we just went out to main event um on the government's dime nice <laughs> what's a muta two for those who don't know what that is uh so a muta two is two halves uh, like a muta is half a day so a muta two means one full day essentially uh and it's um the way the army national guard does its pay scale um they count two mutas as one day which equates to two active duty days mm -hmm. um so whatever your standard pay rate is for one active duty day you get double that for one national guard day um and the point behind that was you know 
people are doing a lot of week during the or a lot of work during the month. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, they're getting paid for two days originally, but they're really working more like three, four, five. Yeah, uh, more than that in some cases. So, um, the National Guard Bureau got us that that double pay really. So. You're right.